music fans know the song Gloria as the 1982 career-breaking song for Laura Branigan. Her latest album is called Over My Heart. And for the first time, Laura takes a hand at songwriting, although previously she had done very little. I think with my first manager, I got a bit dissuaded from writing because, um, I don't know, she always used to tell me my writing was too poetic, and, and so I, I, I got a bit insecure about it, and I didn't, really, I didn't uh, pursue it at all. And um, I'm going to write all the time. <laughs> so what did you learn from the experience? Well, I learned to trust myself, I think, which is the most important thing, and really trust my instincts and not be afraid of going with something, a melody line or uh, a lyric line. I wasn't afraid anymore to have something that's also commercial, but as I said, without uh, compromising at all. You can have both. Laura is known for her four-octave range voice, which she proudly displays on the album's first single called Didn't We Almost Win It All? And ballads are what she does best. What I went with was what I felt I did best, and that is the uh, real heartthrob songs, the real uh, rip your heart out, you know, um, uh, sad ballads. And that's what I've always been drawn towards. I think for a singer, that's the greatest um, expression in the world, is to find a great ballad and be able to just, you know, pour your heart into it. And I just went with what the songs that I loved and I thought were, were the most, um, uh, the closest expression of who I am. Brannigan with Didn't We Almost Win It All, the first release from her new album, Over My Heart. I'm Rob McLean on the VOA Europe Network. This is Rob McLean, and I'm talking with Laura Brannigan. Laura, why do you always sing songs with such huge vocal ranges? It's so satisfying. <laughs> it's so satisfying to sing a song where I can just let go completely, you know, let and just sing as if it's my last gasp on earth. <laughs> no. For her new album, Over My Heart, Laura had a lot of creative input. This is the first album that I have had complete artistic control over. Well, I trusted my instincts, and that's this is the first album I feel that I just completely did that. You know, I didn't second-guess myself at all. This time out, Laura enlists the help of record producer Phil Ramone. What did you learn from Phil while doing the album? Phil really helped me uh, pu pull back on the reins and to really lay back and you don't have to over sing, you don't have to belt out, you don't have to, you just l lay back and let your voice take it. And that's what was great. And she says Phil Ramone is truly a vocalist's producer. He's not there to um, push his production nose and sometimes when you find the, pr the producer arranger they they tend to um, overproduce. I've had that problem a lot, especially when they're mixing to try and push it above the vocal. And he's he's there for the whole. He sees it, the whole entity. Laura Branigan with a song written by Gloria Stefan called Love Your Girl. I'm Rob McLean on the BOA Europe Network. You might think an accomplished singer like Laura Branigan was born to sing. Well, not exactly. And she found out when she recorded the song Gloria that she needed a vocal coach. So she trained with Carlo Minotti. Um, I had no experience in the beginning. I, I, Gloria is a difficult song, and I was started, you know, performing in all the dance clubs. It was hard, and I realized, oh, my God, and I was starting to lose my voice, and I just started studying with Carlo, and he, it's such a skill to sing correctly and to support it. If you don't support every note, you know, it'll hit you in the throat. So when you haven't been singing for a while, how long does it take to get your voice back into shape? It just takes a week of, of working with him to get it back where, you know, it's loose enough and, you know, everything becomes second nature. I mean, that's the key to singing is to have it second nature instead of having to sing about it so that when you do hit those notes, you don't have to think. It, your body automatically goes into, you know control level did you always want to be a singer never no i was incredibly shy um never ever thought i'd be a performer and um when i was in high school i um was sort of pushed into auditioning for a musical and i got the lead and it was really there for the first time that i felt my god you know this is 
This was such an emotional release for me because I kept everything inside for so long and I felt I had the audience in the palm of my hand and I just went after it. How hard was it to get a recording contract? Well, it was hard. I had auditioned for every record company in the business. And um, then I auditioned for Ahmed Erdogan and uh, he had heard, I guess there was a buzz going around. But all the hard work paid off. Here's a song she co-wrote called I'll Wait For You. I'll Wait For You from the new Laura Branigan album Over My Heart. I'm Rob McLean on the VOA Europe Network. Laura Branigan says she was very inexperienced at the beginning of her career. She told me about her first singing job. My first job in the business was singing background for Leonard Cohen on a tour in Europe. And that's when I realized it was the singing that I wanted to go after. Um, up till then, I had been auditioning for musicals, and but I never really saw it as a singing career, and that's what made the turn in my um, psyche. <laughs> Laura's been recording for over 10 years. So what about branching out into other art forms? Is she satisfied with what she's doing now? I'm completely satisfied. Uh, I never want to stop singing. This is my life. I think eventually... I might do a film, but um, right now I'm, I'm very focused. One of the songs on her new album is called Mangwane. Mangwane Pulale. That's a Tsitswana song, a South African uh, traditional folk song. And um, I, when I was over there last time, I uh, sang it a cappella on stage, and the whole audience sang with me. And I thought, my God. And then when I was doing this album, I, I just decided to record it, and I went over there and recorded it at a beautiful studio in Mabatu, and um, had 30 little beautiful Tsitswana kids singing with me, and oh, it was incredible. Laura maintains the same energy on all the songs on her new album, including the title track, Over My Heart. The song is called Over My Heart, written by Eric Martin, the lead singer for Mr. Big. It's the title cut to the latest release by Laura Branigan. I'm Rob McLean on the VOA Europe Network. Laura Branigan came onto the music scene back in 1982. One of her first big hits was How Am I Supposed to Live Without You, written by then little-known singer-songwriter Michael Bolton. On her new album, Over My Heart, Laura chose another Bolton song. It's been hard enough getting over you. People don't realize what a great writer he is. On the first two bars, I just fell in love with it. It's got all the ingredients that I love, the painful, <laughs> emotional songs, and about unrequited love. This man comes back to me, and I'm saying, no, I'm not taking you back. You know, you hurt me. And um, so there's strength involved. For Laura, there's a special attraction to songs like this, those full of emotion that allow her to showcase her wide vocal range. So what attracts her to material like this in the first place? I'm very keen on lyrics. So I always listen to the lyrics first. But even though she's very fond of ballads, she says it's important every once in a while just to include some material that's not typically Laura Branigan. I'm Jeff Roberts, VOA Europe. <laughs> When Laura Branigan was putting together her new album, Over My Heart, she made some changes concerning her career. She made almost all the decisions from the songs she recorded right down to the album's design. In the beginning, I wasn't so involved. And I mean, they take a picture, slap it on an album and put, you know, my name across it. Uh, but no, I'm involved. The art director at Atlantic now is, is great. We pick the photographer together and choose the place and choose the concept. And then um, the art director starts putting it together, and I go in, you know, and say, I don't like this, I like that, I like this. I'm over you. I'm finally over you. Just like you Laura wrote and produced the song Over You with her brother, also an aspiring singer and songwriter. 
And though it's satisfying to compose on her own, it's more important to get just the right songs. I, I don't want to ever rule out anyone else's songs. It's very satisfying when I write a song and I think it's good enough to go on the album. You know, I've written songs that I don't think have been good enough. It doesn't matter to me as long as I get the material that I want. Only time will tell if a love is true. Laura Branigan deals specifically with love and relationships on her new CD called Over My Heart. I'm Jeff Roberts, VOA Europe.